There are some moments when a professional athlete literally tempts you to go nuclear on them. And I stand here before you today right in that zone when it comes to LeBron James. Ladies and gentlemen, LeBron James sent out a tweet about me responding to Slam Magazine, talking about not facts, people. Boo, get another source. He's talking about me. He's talking about what I reported. And what I reported was that if LeBron James was in front of Kyrie Irving, I was told, quote, he would be tempted to whoop his ass. That's what was told to me. I did not speculate. I did not put that out there. It was told to me, verbatim, in that manner, tempted. Now, in defense of LeBron James, let's walk this back a little bit because people have gotten beside themselves. LeBron James has always exercised class. He's always exercised professionalism. He's a businessman, and rambunctious or contentious or irresponsible behavior doesn't ingratiate himself to the businesses that he represents. He's not going to hit Kyrie. It's not going to get into a fight with Kyrie. It wasn't meant to be taken literally. It was meant to highlight his level of frustration with what he perceives to be something that Kyrie Irving is doing in his eyes, which is to say he believes that Kyrie Irving, who is a big-time talent, and as far as I'm concerned, a superstar in his own right, who is a champion, wants to leave, and that should have been that, rather than Kyrie Irving trying to make his departure about LeBron James because it makes LeBron James look bad, and LeBron James feels betrayed. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not speculating. That is what was told to me. By confidence, LeBron James spits out there. See, my name's not some of the people that LeBron James sits down and interviews with. But let's be clear, LeBron James likes comfort. And let's just say I don't make him too comfortable. Why? Because, see, what makes LeBron look bad, the same LeBron that doesn't want to comment about Kyrie, the same LeBron that's in the offseason and didn't want to talk to the media, made sure to talk to Slam, didn't you? You made sure to take a shot at reporters, didn't you? On Twitter and Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, LeBron James has access to my number. In his mind, according to his people, is not trying to malign or insult LeBron James by any turn. And matter of fact, they're extending credit to LeBron James because as Adrian Wojnarowski pointed out in his column on ESPN.com over the weekend, it's LeBron who these stars have to thank for the business acumen that they're exercising by empowering themselves and putting themselves in position to take control of their own careers. LeBron is the one that instigated and initiated and provoked all of that. Kevin Durant spoke about it before. Dwayne Wade spoke about it before. Chris Paul spoke about it before. And now Kyrie Irving is doing the same. So Kyrie Irving, according to his camp, is saying, what's the problem? LeBron, on the other hand, is saying, excuse me, This narrative that's out there painting me in a bad light just because you want your own franchise is unfair to me, your brother and your teammate who's always been there for you. There's two separate sides. But I have nothing more to say in regard to this particular subject. But this and this only. What I quoted somebody as saying, I stand by. The facts that I've accumulated by speaking to over 30 different sources this weekend, I stand by. I'm not budging or inching back one bit. I said what I meant. I meant what I said. And if LeBron James wants to refute that, I welcome the opportunity for him to do so. I can't wait.